So here's a Arduino based uh, DDS VFO I'm working on. Uh, it's a pretty neat little thing. Got three navigation buttons here, a rotor encoder, quite nice uh, optical one. It's from like the 80s or something, and I found it, found it in an old piece of test gear. Got a 4x20 LCD. Uh, here we get a Morse key input, we get a power switch, a little hole for the um, side tone speaker. Got a charging LED. A USB interface that's for serial communication and programming, and a programming button that you have to hold down for it to program, otherwise, it only acts as a regular serial connection. On the other side, here we got a charging input that uh, uh, takes between 7 and 23 volts, a uh, DB9 plug for a well, basic communication. At the moment, it's only for the uh, transmitter control. Uh, and a couple of BNC outputs. Uh, one to go to the receiver, one to go to the transmitter. Uh, I don't really have the uh, DDS module yet though, because it hasn't arrived, but this works anyways. Oh, and it also charges via USB. So let's flip it on here. Um, boots up like you expect a VFO to boot up. Uh, you get to normal mode here, you can set frequency, uh, encoder resolution goes down to uh, 1 hertz and up to 60 megahertz and here's a quiet button that basically turns the uh, DDS output off and then we have a RXTX mode uh, here you can uh, transmit and receive obviously uh, it basically when you hit the Morse key uh, it uh, well it gives a tone out on the uh, DDS and it also pulls the uh, transmitter relay high inside so it automatically activates and deactivates the transmitter uh, we have a QRS mode which is basically really slow uh, CW uh, it's hard-coded now to uh, transmit my call sign uh, but you can easily change that and you get a memory mode here of memory banks you can see on memory bank 1 I have a quite low frequency program then memory bank 2 we have 1470 and on 3 we have something rather other well, something different and then we have some empty bags up to 99 uh, we can let's let's set a frequency here let's set oh, this is real touchy let's set one and now we have that frequency to work with and obviously this is real high resolution now so it just flipped away we can program the uh, another bank here you can see can actually program one let's say save and yes and now we have that frequency in memory you can see it there and then we have a calibration mode for the DDS because these DDS modules can drift a little bit so it is possible to calibrate it with some slightly different values here and you set it in the center and that's basically it um, I'm most likely going to Make an upcoming video of this with a, a little homemade radio I have. It's partially taken apart now, uh, but there it is. It's a little shortwave receiver for the moment, and you just need to build the uh, the transmitter. But that is that. Uh, it's just a brief overview of my Arduino-based DDS VFO. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you all later. Bye.